So hi, my name is Leah Lamort. Um, I graduated PC in 2018 and I was a marketing major. And now I work for UNFI, which is a food distribution company uh, headquartered in Providence. And I am a marketing specialist there. I'd love to talk about my time as president of PCTV. It was such a blast. I was so fortunate enough to have an amazing group of kids with me that were so passionate about Providence College and PCTV. So it was a ton of fun to be able to help lead them and guide the club for two years. And we were able to, um, we were able to release like a lot of fun new content, like Road to the, Road to the Shirt, um, and a couple of res life re and real life videos and the seminar and those were a ton of fun to showcase Providence College's culture um, not only for people at PC but also prospective students and anyone else that can watch them on YouTube. Being a woman president of a club is an honor of course and we are fortunate enough to have like an entire clan of women presidents of clubs the year that I was there. So there was president of Friars Club was a woman, same with Student Congress, BOP, the Cowl. So we had like a really strong group of women in 2018 that were running a lot of the clubs on campus. So it was an honor to be a part of that. And yeah, it's important to have um, women in our voices heard and yeah. I have so many favorite moments of being at Providence College. Uh, PCTV is obviously very close to my heart, um, but also studying abroad was a super cool experience and I'm so happy that that's really, um, you know, a lot of people at Providence College study abroad, that's such an awesome thing that that's encouraged and a lot of people go ahead and do that because that was really an amazing experience um, as a student, but it's, you know, one of the greatest moments probably of my life. So that was, that was an awesome time. And PC has so many fun events for students, especially as a senior, if it's senior ring weekend, commencement, um, friar ball, there's just so many fun things that are always happening on campus. So all of those, I mean, honestly, everything. <laughs> Fifty years, fifty years of women at PC. It doesn't seem like enough. It's it's like funny to think that it's only been fifty years, um, but it's also super powerful just to see the impact that those women have made in the past fifty years, and you know the legacy that they've all been able to create. And I'm happy to be a part of that. And I'm also thrilled that obviously the legacy is continuing. What should the future of PCTV and Providence College look like when it comes to women involvement and impact? I think that, you know, we've, we've come such a long way and there's still progress to be made and I think that, you know, we're on the right track with getting um, women involved in all aspects of life at PC. And I think PCTV definitely um, should be accounted for in that and it has been, but even more so because um, Providence College television really is like a time capsule of culture here and it you know it's being able to be viewed by anyone really through YouTube so students currently can watch it and are participating in it alumni like I'm still watching your guys's videos and they're great but also again like prospective students like having women involved in PCTV is really important because we're going to be able to create content that you know gives our voices a chance to be heard and also inspires more women to apply to Providence College. Yes, I, I you know, I don't have one like off the top of my head, but I did look one up. So, hold on, let me get it up. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, one <laughs> I don't want to read it off, but... Um, it's so fine. It's not mine. not mine. It's not mine. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. That's by Eleanor Roosevelt.